We begin with the Arkansas primary election results. Thanks for joining us for your 5 News at 10. I'm Darren Bob. And I'm Erica Thomas. Arkansas voters have now determined the nominees for the November general election, including in the race for Arkansas governor. Yeah, both the GOP and the Democratic Party have nominees tonight in the race for governor on the GOP ticket. No surprise here. Sarah Huckabee Sanders will head to November, beating her opponent, Doc Washburn. 5 News reporter Michael Wilson has been following this race and joins us now with the details. Micah? Yeah, Darren and Erica, the Associated Press calling those races for both Sanders very quickly. And we also know that Chris Jones will be the runner for the Democratic opponent in November. Now, if Sanders does win that election, she would become Arkansas's first female governor. Sanders really kicked off her campaign season across the natural state in September fairly early. Now, she has a history of politics, of course. Her dad, Mike Huckabee Sanders, is the former governor of Arkansas, and he attended her watch party tonight. Now, the former, she was also the former White House press secretary who was heavily favored in the primary after shattering fundraising records and blanketing the state with ads focused on national issues. And around 8.30, about an hour before the polls closed, the race was called for her. And here locally in Washington County, as of 8.30, she had 81 percent of the vote. And whenever she took the stage for her speech, she did make a few jokes, but mainly thanked her staff and Arkansans for their support. We love the people of this state, and we want to see it be successful. We want to see it thrive. Frankly, I'm tired of watching Arkansas be at the bottom in so many places that I know we deserve to be first. And on the Democratic side, Chris Jones is the projected winner. He has separated himself from the rest of the field, polling very high among Democratic voters, according to our content partners, Talk Business and Politics, earlier this month. His race was called for shortly before 9 tonight and during his speech soon after. He discussed plans of PB&J, that's preschool, broadband, and jobs. He also announced that he will launch his Walk a Mile in Your Shoes campaign touring each county in Arkansas. Jones says he is wanting to differ from past candidates. I commit myself to spreading PB&J to all Arkansans. Why? because our Kansans are tired of the politics of division and fear. And Jones will face Libertarian Ricky Dell Harrington Jr., as well as Dan Nelson, Elvis Presley, jo Jason Tate, and Michael Woodward, who are all independent candidates. Michael Wilson, 5 News. As Micah mentioned, Sarah Huckabee Sanders will head to November with Chris Jones. Jones, the Democratic candidate, who took uh, with uh, took 71 percent of that vote, avoiding a runoff with those four other candidates.